Hey everyone, happy Tuesday. It is January the 9th, 2024. I am pointing my camera again outside the window. This time we have that pickup truck or work vehicle in our driveway. Um, the guy is going to fix our generator. So when we purchased this house, the house comes with um, Generac, genera, genera, is that how you say it? So uh, build a, a generator, a backup generator for um, this house. Um, I guess most of the our neighbors over there has one too. And our neighbors right next um they also have one so most of the houses here in this part of west virginia um have the generators back up power let me show you what i did last night i finally um it was just an idea and i'm making it happen so let me show you so here is the card stock that i used um acid-free cardstock archival methods i uh, got this on amazon if you wanna so i don't remember um i'm gonna go back to see how much i paid for this here's the um heavyweight non-glare archival safe um sheet protectors this is also from Amazon. I think this one is a little bit expensive. This one is not. But I'm going to put um, the prices. So why I'm showing you this? Because this is related to the cross stitch that I said I want to retire. <laughs> I want to put them in their final resting place because I enjoyed stitching on them and I at one point display them in my prior house but uh, my situation changed right now i can't just display whatever i want in the house so this is just a regular you know binder and then that was the idea that i shared with you in my prior videos and i just make it happen that's why i bought this archival um stuff and i completed one page so one page there are two projects the front and the back so let me show you what i did so here's the first one. Oh, i like how they say it's non-glare and it's really non-glare that's really awesome so this is the i what i did is i just hand um blanket stitch around it instead of surging i have a serger but the serger is actually doesn't look pleasing to my eye you know it's not for displaying you know if i want to do that so i decided to do blanket stitch hand stitched around it just to stop the ada fabric from fraying you can also use a fray check but um, I'd like to have something around the project, like to frame it with stitches. Oh, they just turned off the power. Oh, great. Anyways, they're fixing the generator, so they need to... Yeah. Anyways, what? And it's back. So here's what I did and then I actually enjoyed doing the blanket stitching. It's like I'm giving it like, you know, a memorial. <laughs> like, like this is gonna be, <laughs> um, I, it feels like I'm giving it something like this is your last, this is the, the, the last thing that I can give. <laughs> Why did I feel I say that or feel that way? Anyways, um, 
yeah i just use one strand like the sewing thread i used a craft thread actually because that's all i have i could have used another like a different color but i just use whatever i can access so that's the one and the other one is at the back live well love often and love deeply so i started using two strands of sewing thread but i decided it's too you know when you use two strands it get it's just come gets it makes it complicated so i changed my mind decided to do one strand which is easier so yeah and then what i use to attach to attach that is i have this very uh really nice um double-sided tape for sewing but actually i don't like using them i bought this to use on making um project bags but i don't like using this because it actually gunk up the, the needle so i got this on amazon as well but it's china made chinese made or something it's just the glue is too strong so and it's actually not needle friendly so perfect i i use this to attach this fabric i put around double-sided tape around and then there are some actually there are some fraying so i use just a little bit of this fabric tack to stop it from fraying and I wanted to put some information but I um I don't have the information for these projects. So I have to look for the um leaflet for this. I know this is from the leaflet. I'll have to look and get the information. Most likely the information is the name of the project or uh, the magazine or the name of the book when I when I started it, if I have that information and when, when I did the, the finish date and other information, I would like to put it here, but I have to think of ways to put it in a way that it looks really nice. But yeah, this is all I have done for now and I have plenty to go and I really have to stick to like hand stitching, blanket stitching on them instead of using the sewing machine because you know this is cross stitch this is handmade and i think i have to stick with a theme that has to be hand stitched so it will take me this project will take me a long time to finish but i am just happy that i'm able to um keep them like this actually gives me an idea that I can still stitch small projects and I really don't have to frame them or don't have to display them. I just have to put them in cardboard like this to enjoy them, you know, to enjoy the process of stitching at the same time to be able to see them whenever I want to see them or show them to people if I want to show them what I did. It's kind of a scrapbook, but nothing else. I like how how plain it is no scrapbook paper no other patterns around just you know centered on the finished piece and yeah i have to think of the cover i don't know yet that's not important for now but as you can see i am going through my patterns and and separate them into theme I'm actually um, going through all the magazines. I don't want to keep the magazines. I'll just want to keep that is the charts or the designs that I wanted to keep and the rest of the magazines with other designs there um, will be donated. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll drop them off at a thrift store. Hopefully they don't throw them away. They see value in them because there are still designs, good designs there. But I'm not keeping the magazines. Um, I'm keeping magazine pages and, and separate them into the categories. So 
that's why I am ha I have this um cardboard magazine holder file holder and I put temporarily put like Christmas home items inspirational quotes people precious moments fantasy that's just temporary birds um I have the birds animals insects I have flowers food plants and I have buildings houses sceneries this is just a temporary cut uh, still working in it and then let me show you my cross stitch books um, so those are all cross stitching books and other hobbies like sewing jewelry making so I'm still opening boxes and making some progress here for my organization it's a lot of work but i i like to, to be organized so that I'm, and and the top part those are mirabilia so i'm still not finished but organization is fun for me i don't mind doing it so yeah i just want to take um <clears throat> First time I see the sunset in this area. <laughs> so pretty. Hey guys, happy Wednesday. It is January the 10th. And um, I just want to do this before I'm going to work. I just spun the wheel this morning. Is I'm going to stitch on another project. I have um, fin completed or finished stitching three days stitching on this Halloween at Hawkorn Hollow. So I'm showing you a picture of what it was, where I was uh, um, before I started stitching on her for three days. So. Here's the before picture in let me show you um, what I did where I'm at right now here's my progress so last night I stitched um I stitched it while watching that movie about atom nuclear bomb atom bomb atomic bomb <laughs> like about that guy who i know i don't really um, i'm just listening to it my partner was watching it and i'm not really into you know i'm not into the story <laughs> but it was the opportunity for me to sit down with him pretending that i'm watching i was actually listening but i'm focused on stitching on this because i'm not really interested in the movie kind of it didn't really catch my attention like it's just <clears throat> after a few m minutes of watching it like ugh. anyways um that's my progress so i'm working on her skirt and got bored so i jumped um into stitching the pumpkin and then it got you know the counting was confusing so i decided to just work on the cat make sure that i counted it correctly because i messed up somewhere here so i fudged my mistakes here like counting mistakes but yeah the bat if i remove this i also stitch the bat over right, there maybe i should let me do that so just a little bit of something in <laughs> like an unfinished bat Oh my god, I'm sorry if I'm sniffling. So, yeah, um, I'm just like picked wherever I want to stitch. But actually, this is um, stitching 40 count linen, so I stitch whenever, um, whatever is easiest, wherever is easiest for me when it comes to counting. Because I can't really, it's hard to jump to another st a stitch that's far away. Um, without any ha having any accounting mistakes because it's 
for the count and it's linen so you have to count every thread in, and I don't have any other ways to do it but that's my progress so my next project is flower bride I'm excited about this because this has been stitched for many many years so many years so never really stitching it uh, not putting a stitch since the day I decided to stop stitching on her um, the floss for this one is not organized I'll show you the project bag so those are those floss so it's gonna it's not organized but I don't really like to organize like I only have three days stitching on her and I just I don't know maybe I'll spend time to sort the floss meaning organize them into numbers um put them into something um they are all in um bobbins so I don't want to organize when it comes to putting them into a floss card and do that maybe I might change my mind because if it's annoying to look for the floss that I need but this is um my um you know i'm gonna start tonight three days again i really like three days it may give i have um good progress so yeah i'll take a picture of this add this to my one note for my records and hopefully get to enjoy this again uh, she is pretty pretty and yeah, I'm excited today. We're finally closing the property that we bought um, a few minutes from my house, which is a property that has a cabin, a pond, and um, a wooded wooded area. We got them on like a beating war. Um, yeah, so it's a closing day today. I shared the property with... Um, my boyfriend so yeah that's it and I'm excited we were excited because we wanted to clean the cabin the cabin is was is actually I remember it, it's a mess I, I think I shared the video with you there's just a lot of it's just chaos there nobody live there and it needs cleaning and it needs fixing as well we're, we're not really like making it a home you know but we want something comfortable. Hi everyone, it is January 13th. Happy Saturday. It's a long weekend for me and it is snowing outside kind of flurry slight snow with the wind and yeah well I actually it's time for me to change project so I spun the wheel and now working on Celtic Autumn lavender and lace but let me show you my progress on the flower bride so here is my starting point for the flower bride and after three days here's where i'm at so i think as you can see i worked on here around this area and under her chin yes I did a lot for two days it's so pretty yes guys so I'm looking forward to working in, on her someday I think I'm just gonna stitch fast Okay. 
and by the way i am sorting my charts all the pages that i ripped off from the magazines the things that i liked i sorted them and that's what i'm doing right now i'm holding here on the floor sorting my charts